Hello and welcome to K Stop Fuse's K pop podcast. Hey guys, welcome. As always, this is Jeff, and with the summer feeling to my winter blues, it's Tina Zoo. Oh, that was so cute. I like that intro. You look very summery today. Thank you. Hi. I'm well, hi everyone. This is Tina. <laughs> but um, <laughs> it's funny that you say that because I've gotten two angelics. One angel oh. from Queens, and now very summery. I'm wearing just like kind of a all white boho she kind of yeah. lacy thing. Emphasis um, on the sheet. dress, yeah, and it's all white. So of course everyone thinks I <laughs> I'm like wandering through like a garden or something. Or but yes. yeah, I just felt like wearing something summery since it is hot as hell out. Yes, summer. Well, summer weather, yes. kind of at least in New York is here. And we're returning from a nice holiday three-day weekend for Memorial Day. What'd you do, Jeff? What did I do? Um, Went to the beach. It was first beach day, so I was very oh, happy. nice. Which beach did you go to? You know Jacob Breeze Beach? I Rockaway don't. Beach? Oh, yeah. Okay. When you say that, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> I don't know my beaches very well. So. Yes. If you guys ever go to New York and want to go to the beach, Jacob Breeze, Lots of sights, lots of interesting yeah. sights. To was it check crowded? Out. It was kind of crowded, but I was happy. You yeah. know, I could like finally see or Get your go tanner. in the water. Yeah. Yes, yes. And then, that's awesome. uh, and then I lost my keys when I went on a run, so that was sad. Oh, that then, sucks. <laughs> it was a weekend of highs and lows, right? And <laughs> friends and yeah, that's <laughs> what awesome. What about you? What did you do? Um, I didn't do anything too crazy. I ha- I thought I would get some like BBQ invites. Mm. Nope. No. My Me inbox either. is empty. I have no friends apparently. Um, <laughs> like well, I grab like brunch and you know drinks here and there. Mm. So it was like the standard weekend, I guess. Um, I went to Dave and Buster's yesterday for the first time. Oh, for time. your first time. Yeah, they were like, "You're 27. You should probably hit up Dave and Buster's." <gasps> what? So um, I only yeah. went for the first time last year. Okay, so, so I'm not job. like the only one who no. went later in life. No. Yeah. Another New York must if you guys come. Yeah, <laughs> Dave and Buster's. Yes, Dave and Buster's. <laughs> like an you... adult Chuck E. Cheese. You can like drink and play games and stuff. Basically. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it was a chill weekend, but still fun. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, yeah, exactly. It and was we a come weekend. back to discuss a few new... I'm, I'm glad there were actually some like <laughs> solid releases over the past yeah. few days. Uh, no, exactly. We got yeah. so much to talk about because yes, as we talk about every week, it is K-Stop. You guys... um always come come out in full force to support the show everything with our great comments and everything so thank you so much first things first i gotta fess up here okay because i got Uh-oh. some comments about this okay if we're going to the first reader comments <laughs> and i got called out because last week as you know um we talked about uh shinies yes. jung hyung's yeah. uh solo solo album and i i kept saying or i kept repeating this because i thought it was so cool that this was the first sm full-length so album but i i was i was wrong i guys Shaw Walls. I admitted I was wrong. It was actually his shiny band member Taman oh, who oh, released right. it, yeah. and we love that album, the Press right. It album. I can't believe we for, you know, overlooked. I that. can't believe. Yeah, we missed that. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I was thinking about them. Like, yeah, I didn't like even catch that, or even I guess, yeah, so, our our bad. Yeah. So thank you, everyone. Well, in particular, want to give a shout out to at Shiny Feels who hit me up on Twitter and let me know. Um, that they we, we did they wanted us to let us know you did you guys did good with the she is review but he wasn't the first to come out with a full album it was tame in and then I wrote oh I'm so sorry I'll fix it in the next episode he goes okay you guys keep up with so much um, you know also K stop is really wonderful I hope few supports you and Tina for a long time Aww, thank you so we hope so too yeah I think so. it's there are just so many releases and things <laughs> to keep track of that yes. occasionally we slip up even though it's like I think in the it's like I'm sure in the back of our heads we like knew this mm-hmm. but you know mm-hmm. what Don't we worry, apologize people. um yeah i saw like a comment on fuse.tv about that i was just <laughs> yeah. like whoops <laughs> no, no i know but on, on on a very similar wavelength everyone came out and wanted to support um jung Hyun's she is on our weekly poll that we do oh, um, yeah. on every on every on fuse.tv every week now we're putting a poll with your favorite for everyone to vote for their favorite release of the week it's a new episode, so voting is officially closed. And now we're going to see the winner. It was either Monster X, who came out with All In, 
Jung Hyung with She Is or Bake I Young with So So. And now I'm refreshing everything. Last Looking- I checked, I think Monster X was in the lead. But it was and very close. It was really close. They did end up taking it. Monster X all in. If you remember, that was the surpri- the release that surprised Tina the most last oh, week. Oh, wait, so they won? They won, but 36 oh, nice. points. Okay. 37% of the vote. Coming in a quick, these were really close. 33% was Jung Hyun with She Is. And then with 30% was Baek Ai Young with So So. She actually did a lot better than I thought. Only because, you know, she's definitely you know well not that's not true well like monster <laughs> x isn't like super well known either but they're more idly yeah mm-hmm. so um and their fans i assume you know go really hard and everything yeah. so you know i'm glad that like it was pretty evenly split pretty evenly because they were split. all very 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 great strong releases yeah releases we love that so congrats to monster x for taking the win yeah. from last week's episode and now we're getting right into this episode because there are a lot of cool things to talk about yeah good pretty stuff varied episode too i'm excited tina what what's what's the first on your agenda hmm. who's sticking out to you let's start with icon all right because we haven't you know heard a release from them in a bit of time right um and um as we know and or if our listeners don't know um icon is a group under yg entertainment mm-hmm. and um they Home to a big bang yes. 21 sigh right so um yeah so they're definitely more of like kind of an r&b hip-hop leaning group mm-hmm. um they let's see i guess like their bigger single um last year was um my type yeah right would you would you call that yeah like their, well my, my type was like single? the debut single yeah. the one everyone was hyped for and yeah and i, and I remember being kind of surprised by that one right i really like that single hello me yeah. too i love that one right. i think i went uh, right to number one yeah it no was, they did really well um so they return with wyd or i guess what you doing what you're doing so it's more of like an internet lingo, you know, <laughs> title. Um, yeah. I just what? Okay. And um, yeah, this single, I don't know. It's it's the so it's the first time we've heard them since they released a couple of stuff, you know, mm-hmm. an al- like an album at the end of the year last year, kind of solidifying their status as like a big rookie group. And this is their first return, right? And you you seem pretty hyped about this. Um, I'm hyped to hear Bobby again because oh. I love his voice. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think that he really, his voice is really, really distinct. Yeah. And, you know, he can rap and, and sing really well. Um, I like the song. I think it's sweet and I think it's cute. Yeah. It is very similar to my type, yeah. but it's oh, it's like a less catchier version of my type, <laughs> like I, a softer version. I don't know right. if you agree with that, no, no, with no. that assessment. I, I, I definitely would. I mean, I like the production with this one a little more. I really okay. like the horns in it. Um, you know, like I feel like that's the thing that stands out. Like with my type, like that melody was like stuck in my head. Like, yeah. na, 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 mm-hmm. you know, I was yeah. bothered happened to that so much but then this one it's like more about like the horns i felt like or yeah. the instrumentation was just cooler and like more just something that stuck out a little more rather than just being you know you're sort of safe you know so you prefer I, this over my type i i don't that's the thing is that i don't know which one i prefer really i i feel like i'll end up listening to this one probably more okay. I, I don't know but i really did like my type a lot yeah i which one do you prefer i like my type more yeah. uh-huh. um I think it was, had a little bit more of like a funk edge to it. Yeah. Um, this one I just thought it was kind of like sweet and dreamy and just cute. Um, <laughs> right. But they're always so good at blending like kind of that pop ballad sound with hip hop. It's very yeah. seamless for them and it's mm. just smooth. I think all their singles are very smooth. Yeah, and, and YG is pretty good at kind of. I feel like they're they're pretty good at giving those sort of mellower laid back not what you're sort of expecting tra- yeah. you know they're good at like the hype up pump up tracks sure, but sure. you know the bangers but then they're also like always good at bringing this and i don't know i i wonder if this was sort of like their move to like make sure that icon gets another big hit and you know like kind yeah. of plays off this springy feel right. good nice vibe. It, yeah it is um speaking of that the filter on the video. Oh, yeah. well, we talked about this on previous episodes, how mm. everyone seems to be using these kind of rosy yeah. or kind of um, dreamlike filters. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know how I feel about this one because it was a little too much. It, it's, it's almost like they put the whole video 
onto Instagram and then <laughs> added that kind of like, um, what's that blur effect called? You know Ooh. what I'm talking about? Where you can Fade. blur, like, where you can blur, like, kind of almost like a, we can blur, like, either, oh, like, oh, oh, all oh. around or, yeah. or, like, specific areas yeah. of the video. I kind know what you mean. You know what I'm talking about? It's not a vignette, but, like, I want to, um, like, look it up on Instagram right now. Oh, I, I, I can't, I want to know the can't word. remember the tool. I just haven't used that function in a very long time on Instagram, so I can't recall. Because you hate it. I don't like it, but, um, yeah, so I kind of, that kind of. I just thought that was a little tilt shift tilt no. shift. Yes. Yep. I thought they called. used tilt shift <laughs> a bit on there. Interesting. A little bit. I just thought it was a little blurry. I don't know. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. Well, and that's the thing is that like, yeah, it keeps with that like very like dreamy pastel. E yeah. right. You know, I didn't like hate it. It was just <laughs> a little, um, mm. it just irked me a little bit. I just didn't think it was really necessary. Yeah. Um, I switch. But I, I, if I remember correctly, they they had a similar look or at least kind of color scheme for going my type, for right? My type yeah, too. that's so this true. Is, yeah, it almost that's is true. like it's kind of like because uh, and then you remember. Do you remember the um oh man um the like really hyped up single? I'm like I can't remember its name was right it now. The dumb the, and yeah, yeah dumb we're and like dumber? you know yeah exactly. They had these bangers where like they were like basketball. You know there was yeah. all this like sports themes and whatnot. You right, know, so right, it feels right. like they're trying to show. Two very, you know, a two softer, sides. a softer yeah. side of them. Oh god, literally. Okay, okay. true, true. <laughs> but yeah, I'm kind of like, man, you know, you kind of did do this before. I mean, that's it's, true. Yeah. I feel like my type was a little more hanging out with the boys, mm -hmm. you know, like sort of thing. This one was more about, you know, being cute with a girl or whatnot. Yeah. And there were some nice like scenes in there. I the liked girls it. are. <laughs> The, the fangirls are really loving it. They're like, Bobby looks like the perfect boyfriend because they're oh, showing yeah. like scenarios of the boys with, with you know, their, their ladies right. and like, you know, being cute with them and, you know, strolling with them. And then Bobby's playing basketball. And after right. he makes a shot, you know, she's on, off to the side cheering him on. And then he like goes and scoops her up. And all the girls are like, oh, my God. <laughs> no, Swoon. It, it definitely plays off. Yeah. Those fantasy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So it was, it's definitely cuter. Um, yeah, I liked it. It was it was just kind of you know like like their comfort zone. What you yeah. what they know they sound good and look good doing. Yeah. So there's nothing wrong with that, I guess. Right, right, right. And you know this was just a quick little single. You know, mm -hmm. I I I feel like it kind of came up pretty quickly. Like it was kind of like unexpected and yeah. then like came out. So you know, I hope we hear more from them this year. You know, I think that's that'll right. be important for YG. You know, as you know, they're trying to develop their more newer acts. And you know, I'm hearing they're finally putting out that girl group that they've been teasing. Yes, they're. I think they're releasing each member weekly. Yeah, or something so like, we'll see. So it's like, actually happening. Yeah. Maybe who knows? I know <laughs> with YG, you never know. <laughs> he might be like, just kidding. <laughs> might be like, there's too many members. They're gonna go for a year. Right. Uh, uh. But so yeah, I was kind I of kinda, sad. I was kind of disappointed that it wasn't off of like, uh, like an EP or yeah, you know, some sort of like f full release. But you yeah. know, this is I'm not going to complain too much. This is better than nothing. It's true. Yeah, I know. You know, it, it wasn't a humongous hiatus like like we kind of have right. come to expect um, right. from these kind of acts. So you know, I would love to hear more jazz inspired, more more brass stuff from them. So mm -hmm. keep it up, Icon. Whatever you're doing. Whatever yeah. you're doing, let us know, of course, what you guys think of our account and all of the people <laughs> we talk about in the episode. Any comment, anything you guys want to respond to, we're always watching, we're always listening. You guys know you can hit us up on hashtag KStop on Twitter, leave us a comment on iTunes or on Fuse.tv or, um, or on um, on, Twitter. on Twitter. What else do we got? Oh, you can he listen to us on Stitcher. Listen to us on YouTube. We're all over the place. And yeah, um, yeah I always uh, as always, you know, quick housekeeping rules. Leave us a leave us a message. Leave us a rating on iTunes. It makes us happy. It makes everyone happy. Leave us a comment. We see it all, guys. Mm -hmm. We love it. So thank and you. Again, um, my Twitter handle is hey underscore tina with three a's yes and i am jeff underscore underscore benjamin we're always watching yay so yes can't forget that part yes but yeah right. who's next on our new Move releases on to another release yeah okay. um Gave well love. okay we have two more left <laughs> and they're both solo acts yeah. one of whom is a veteran and one of whom is finally releasing a full-on solo 
release. Yeah. Talking about my girl Luna from Ooh, FX. Oh, your girl. Yes. I didn't know you were a um, Luna fan. Yes, you, I liked I knew her. This she was my favorite when FX debuted. And oh. I think I would say she has remained consistent as my favorite of the group. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah, she releases her single Free Yourself. Oh, yeah. I think in English they're calling it Free Somebody. But free somebody? Yeah. <laughs> really? I thought that's it's not what, free yourself. I thought that's what she was saying in the chorus. Oh, maybe I'm just <laughs> making things up. Free somebody. Okay. Forget oh, I just good. said that. I don't want any. I don't want. <laughs> right know, after you, we made a mistake, I know, I'm like, you guys this are is listening. The incorrect title of her song. <laughs> okay. Um, free somebody. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the debut EP, solo EP from from Luna. Yes. Um. What do you think of this, Jeff? And, uh, well, I, I I thought it was really cool because once again, and I think what the, so many solo releases from from SM Entertainment in particular this year, but you know once again she did something unexpected, which I think mm-hmm. is really cool. Now I was reading a little bit in the comments, and fans were saying that Luna's a big fan of like house music, like loves this kind of stuff. Because yeah. I think it'd be pretty expected for her, kind of like Taeyeon we were saying, to go mm-hmm. with a ballad or something, or something to really showcase her voice. Right. But she went in this whole unexpected exactly. world. They're really with this, rebranding her. Yeah, yeah, and I am so for it yeah, I, I'm I mean here for this yeah I'm I am one I really like the track I really like um I thought it like worked really well with her. I really like that um song she did with um Amber and Rehab yeah um, wave. the wave song wave. Yeah. yeah and then this song is just so cool I mean yeah it's just she sounds really like it fits really well with her you know mm-hmm. it's my, not something that I was like anticipating working so so well but it really did and I love the hook I love um you know, I think, oh, and uh, the, I mean, we'll get to the music video, but the music video was so cool. Right. Um, yeah, I'm just, I, I'm really proud of it. And I, I listened to the EP really quickly and there were so many really good tracks on it. Like, Yeah, I think it's really cool and impressive that she can still showcase her vocals. Yes. So, um, I guess, mm-hmm. clearly, um, through a sound and genre that you maybe not necessarily think that you can display your vocals very clearly. It yeah. is very, you know, heavily electro dance kind of EDM inspired. Um, right. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this is definitely not anywhere near as aggressive as wave, um, right, obviously, right. but um, it's definitely got that kind of edgy electro dance mm. sound, but it's, it sounds futuristic, but heavily eighties as well. Like it's a yeah. very kind of retro sound, but the video kind of, <laughs> was walking the line between futuristic and old school, <laughs> which I thought yeah. was really, really cool. Yeah. I, I think, um, no, that, that's a good point too. I, or I really like your point about the, uh, you know, a genre where you wouldn't think vocals mm-hmm. could, could be showcased so well because yeah, the hook is even strictly instrumental, you know, mm-hmm. they're like, the mm-hmm, 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 yeah. you know, and like, but she's still got so much opportunity to sing so much and really right. not lose that big part of herself. Right. Which I what did you so think? Cool. What did you think of her kind of styling and I guess the production concept, of the video? Because it is very, very kind of. I think it's very new to me because mm. in K-pop, I don't see a whole lot of um, marriage of like car, like mm, cartoon yeah. um, production, right. and then kind of seamlessly going into that from you know her real life self. I guess yeah. I don't know the right terminology for it but yeah i mean yeah i i'm i'm usually honestly not a fan of like animated videos mm-hmm. and stuff like that this one didn't annoy me as much it didn't seem tacky no it didn't seem like because i feel like a lot of times animation is just like a easy like throwaway yeah. like they're like oh we didn't have enough time like just right. <laughs> we'll just make something in the studio yeah you know or like when Britney Spears was going crazy and they made her do the break the oh, ice Oh, the break video. the ice, the cartoon. Yeah. <laughs> do you I'm remember just, that? Yeah. <laughs> that's I don't what know. I, that's, like, it always rubs me the wrong way. I, when never, I, see. I just <laughs> never decided if I loved it or hated it. I was like, oh, okay. Right. Yeah. But I liked how, you know, because um, fan, I think fans always want to see the artist yeah. in, in their like real form, you know, in, <laughs> yeah. in, in the production, not just have a cartoon version. It right. seems like a cop out. If that's you exactly only stay saying. with an animated yeah. um, version. So I think it's cool that they were able to fit that into the video without it kind of overtaking the whole production. And it yeah. was still cute and kind of fun. A little trippy. Co- at yeah. Times. Trippy. It was trippy. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, 
They were both like that, like those naked figures at time. I was like, oh, yeah. wait, I like paused it for a second. I'm like, wait a minute. Yeah, is this yeah. what I think it is? <laughs> yeah, it's like I love the, the neon, the yeah. colors. Um, I liked what she was wearing, the styling. I love oh, that yeah. she chose so she was wearing a powerpuff girl shirt and i love that she chose buttercup because buttercup is known as the fierce one (laughs) yeah and i love that she chose that and not like bubbles because bubbles is like obviously the cutesy one and like i like that she's coming a little harder i know exactly right and you know i think luna i think knew i I think she's using this i i I, at least like i I remember interviewing fx like i think Mm -hmm. it was at kcon what 2013 or something and you know luna by far most smiley most bubbly like really like you know happy but i think there is like this more you know creative artistic side she i don't think she is just the person who wants to get up there sing a happy pretty song and then walk away you know there is some depth and substance definitely and there's a little like you know darkness to her so i think it was so cool that she yeah the buttercup that you know i didn't think of that at first but i remember thinking oh that's a cool look yeah and then you know i loved i love she really was like in control of the choreography a lot of times mm-hmm. i love that she i was didn't think center. she would really dance like that yeah. uh, no there's so many cool moments yeah. there i was very re- really really happy with it and i uh, love that she got that kiss in <laughs> yes yeah <laughs> you know? I, I like that she's just showing kind of like more personality yes. and all of that which um, i think is you know the whole point of these solo releases right, you know? right. i don't want to see her and we were yeah. saying that for chong hyung too how he's yes. threw in some dancing and show, uh, showed a bit more vibrancy totally um, I saw, I saw someone point out online. I thought this was really cool. I thought it was really really funny actually. How um, did you notice her second outfit was a DHL shirt? That that look is so that shirt is so popular now. I see. I've actually never seen it. Oh, I saw it in some other group. Or really, something. I didn't see that. But so for those who are not familiar with DHL, it is a <laughs> delivery service kind of like FedEx or yeah. whatever. And someone like, online not was like, glamorous. Or no, no, no. Like someone that. online was like. Luna is rocking that DHL shirt because she is ready to deliver. Uh, and I, was, <laughs> I was like, that is so cute. I'm obsessed with that. Oh my so God, I don't know I if that's love... actually the reasoning and the logic be- behind wearing that, but it works. So. Oh my God, I love that. Well, because actually, okay, very funnily, I did, because she's wearing that on the cover, uh, the front cover yeah, of the Yeah, like in her, like, teaser photos or something yeah. that I saw and I looked at, or I saw some I was looking at comments too and I found a link to this some company somehow is selling this shirt for like 200 something dollar or like what? almost yeah in somewhere in the hundreds range and I was like this DHL shirt DHL, is so yeah. that's ridiculous I was like why don't I just go to a location and right. pick it up and then I'll be really trendy right. but yeah that's so funny who would have thought I guess I don't know between DHL FedEx and UPS, which one would you want to wear a shirt for? I don't know. Um, uh, clearly DHL now because clearly. They, apparently there are the trendy ones. And this reminded me, yeah, I'm trying to think. Oh, there was something else like very similarly. Like these th- random things get on trend recently. But yeah. remember when like everyone was wearing like the McDonald's inspired like Mochino like looks? I mean, yeah. that's like a high brand thing. But right. <laughs> I was like, really? Everyone right. here with the McDonald's stuff? I was like, yeah, but it was very interesting to it. see her wear that shirt and then kind of pair it with like that pink filter. It was looking kind of yeah. sultry. But I'm like, so I'm like, what is happening right now? <laughs> I was like, DHL. But yeah, never no, but again, so like she really stood out. And I like that she's really carving an image for herself. Yeah. Like 80s, kind of, but like retro, but kind of futuristic. Yeah. And like even with the Powerpuff Girl shirt, yes. a throwback. I hope, I hope it does well for her. I really do. I think she deserves yeah. it. I think she's been waiting for this yeah, moment. Yeah, I, I like the song a lot. Yeah. And just like, even without the visuals, the song resonates. Yeah, exactly. I like it. Good album, good release. Yeah, we, we both we love it. We want more. We want more. <laughs> yeah. So, yes, let us know what you guys think of Luna because I think you guys were anticipating it too. Oh, yeah, shout out to the song Galaxy on the, on the EP. Oh, Galaxy's I good. I really like yeah. that one. Cool. And... Do you want to introduce our last our last release? One. Of All the right. Week? So now we have a very well known and popular male soloist who has been part of a group and a trio. Um, we're talking about none other than Sha Junsu, formerly of DBSK. Um, <laughs> I guess JYJ is still together, right? Yeah. Just like I think on paper, technically last they're week. still together. I okay. Mean last year. Right. So Obviously, he and two other members left DBSK, and they're in JYJ. But they still they all pursue solo stuff. Yes. Um, Mickey is always acting and whatnot. So, 
Uh, Junsu is back with his fourth album, I believe, and it's called um, Signature with an X because (laughs) X is pronounced as an S H Um, in this situation. So I guess like I see what they did, right? So even though (laughs) Signature is not like technically how you pronounce that word, but um, we're we're going with that. Going and the single is called Rock the World, Mm -hmm. and it features the Quiet and Automatic, which I did not expect because the Quiet. Is either like underground hip hop yeah. or, you know, maybe someone on YG. So <laughs> that was, you, you can already tell he's going for a hip hop direction on yeah. this release. And um, then Automatic, what's his background? Is he a producer? I wasn't I just totally know sure. he's worked with Sha on previous things before, like an yeah. earlier album, but okay. I don't know what else he's worked on. Yeah, I was trying to do a little research, but I couldn't figure yeah. it out. It doesn't help that his name is very generic. Yeah, I so, think that was my biggest issue. Yeah. But that's okay. So, um, and yeah, and uh, for those kind of familiar with Shah, he's known as like a very, very hardcore vocalist and dancer, kind of well rounded mm-hmm. all around. Um, yeah, so what did you think? Um, yeah, I think, um, I think it was really, well, I mean, yeah, I, I, his I don't releases know if this is have like your been... general kind of sound that you would go yeah, for. I'm, I, I'm gonna. The production guess that you <laughs> maybe don't like it. As well, much. no, no, no. I I thought it was very internationally minded. I thought the beat was really cool. I really, mm-hmm. I actually really liked the quiet's part probably the most. To be I honest, did too. Um, I thought that was just really. There was a lot of like cool. It was a really good move of him to include him there because I yeah. thought that was really cool. You know, for, for some reason, I got the feeling that this was like. He he wanted to make this very internationally minded. Right. Like he had a very it's like very his, like a calculated yeah, move. Or I don't know. Not in a negative Calcula- way. Yeah, or not in yeah. A, not a negative. Like he thought about it. There was a lot of Exactly. There was yeah, a lot there of there was thought. a process to this. Yeah. Exactly. Because there's that whole like hook section that's all in English where like he's like, you know, shouting out, you know, everyone get on the floor and whatnot. Right. And you know, it's it's felt like okay, so you like have this kind of, the beat kind of sounded like something I feel like we'd hear on like the new Nick Jonas album or something something like that okay. just very like trendy synthy r&b yeah. dancey electronic yeah. he really did do a good job of fusing kind of all of that together yeah exactly and um yeah like you said i really like the the quiets part yeah, i thought that, that was my fit favorite in part. well mm. and like he looked like he looked this way he always looks in everything in the music video. So it's just kind of like they just like stuck him in there. It's like he f- he looked comfortable in there, but it's like he's just kind of his like overall aesthetic. It's just like, yeah. oh, like hat, hoodie, you know, right. chilling. Glasses, um, sunglasses. I will say uh, cohesively as a song, though, it was a little jarring for me it sounded like three different songs strung together i would agree with that yeah exactly right it was very strange like it went it went from like that like like to this whatever ceiling that yeah like that sounded cool and i liked it yeah and then he suddenly went into like kind of ballad mode right and then he went back to that (laughs) And then the bridge, and then the bridge, I just absolutely hated. Really? I don't know what was happening Ooh. there. And the bridge was not the quiet part. Quiet was like, <laughs> yeah, no, I think he that was like before the there, verse. before then, yeah. And that's the thing too is that I was getting a little confused about like song structure, which yeah, I didn't know what was the chorus <laughs> yeah. and what was like the verse, right? Which is interesting in a song, but not when it actually perplexes you, you know? Yeah, <laughs> and you're so, like, right? Mm. I was like, I don't know if I hate it or if I think it's really edgy and forward were thinking right i was very confused it did is i think it was a little too everywhere for yeah. me yeah it's almost um, like they were being really ambitious right and just in kind of pan out right. the way they wanted it to but it was definitely like a big budget video it was very yeah. dramatic um lots I don't of know dancers how, there was yeah it was very colorful i don't know how i feel about the styling but i feel like with junsu i never <laughs> know how i feel about the styling it's a little n- n- i'm not a huge fan of like deep deep (laughs) v-necks like ever and that's like pretty much all he wears so (laughs) there's really not much i can say other than like okay like yeah he's wearing that v-neck again and correct me if i'm wrong but this isn't his first story well you you remember like the scenes with like the the puppeteer and the chains and this isn't his first video where he's sort of been chained or yeah i noticed um, i'm like yeah it's like kind of that darker moody 
vibe. Yeah. I, I I feel like I've seen some of those. Yeah, like Duty the Loves Bondage before. or like. Yeah, it was a little. Some... Yeah, I actually got that same vibe. I was like, this is a little. I feel a little bit uncomfortable, but I don't know. <laughs> and it's not the first time I I don't think he's done this before. So I'm kind of wondering like, there's some message or some you know something yeah. about this that he really wants people to know, know about. So, and I don't know. I don't know how like. I don't know what the general kind of response from fans are regarding like mm. just the concept of the video. Yeah, right. So if anyone has any, you know, thoughts on that, please let us know. We yeah. would love to hear. Yeah, because we're very intrigued. We, yeah, we wanna, yeah. We want to know. Um, but I will say if the quiets part wasn't in there, I probably would not like the <laughs> song as much. Yeah. Um, so I thought like including him was definitely a good move. Yeah. Um, no, it's cool. It, yeah. It, yeah, it was a cool move. I'm curious to see how this one does. You know, I think, I think you know, it, it's it's so tricky. You know, when these when you leave a big group like TVXQ mm -hmm. and you know they they've sort of had their own legal issues with mm -hmm. trying to promote on their own. And you know, you have a company against a big big record label entertainment agency against them. It's really tough. So, right. you know. I'm certainly rooting for him. I think JYJ that that military time is almost is almost there for them. Right. Right. So, yeah. I don't know. I, yeah. I so I, I like, see what he I, was doing. I, I like them cohesively as JYJ. Though. Do you remember when JYJ worked with Kanye West? Yes. On that song? That, that actually whole EP was dope. <laughs> yeah. They were going so internet. This was like a little before you know when I was hardcore hardcore watching yeah. you know people like them, but. Yeah, what a time. Yeah, that EP <laughs> was actually really solid. So yeah. It's underrated in underrated. my humble opinion. Yeah. But, um, yeah, so a pretty solid three um, three releases. Yeah, who gets your vote for this week of your favorite release of the week? Oh, jeez. I'm trying not to let my bias get in the way. <laughs> I would probably say Luna. I think I'm going to agree with you. Yeah. Because... Yeah, and I, granted, you know, she's got a whole EP behind her versus, you know, right. um, Icon. But I think she's single. the one who impressed me the most, and there wasn't anything about the video that I really had an issue with, whereas yeah. Icon, obviously, I like them a lot, and the song's fine, but it was mm. that was just it. It was fine. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. So yeah, all right. Well, two votes towards Luna, but we'll have to see what the with listeners, K-Stop right. listeners, think. As always, don't forget there is a poll on Fuse.tv. You guys vote as many times as you want uh, on Fuse.tv, mm -hmm. and um, yeah, that'll be there along with a YouTube playlist of all the music we're talking about this um, about this uh, episode and yes. and everything more. Cool. So now it's time to get into some charts. charts. Charts time where we look at the U.S. iTunes K-pop page where we look at the top five songs currently in the top five of U.S. K iTunes K-pop yeah. channel. Whatever you call it. I'm so I'm terrible with the wording of that <laughs> every week. I'm always embarrassing myself. <laughs> no. But, so. but here we go. At number five this week was... A release from last week. She is by Jung Hyung from nice. Shiny. Shiny, who just got announced for KCON LA. Yes, that's so very exciting. Freaking excited to yeah. see. I hope he gets to perform. I hope we get to see Press Your Number. Oh there my too. God. <laughs> and everyone can wear glasses with the filter. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I'm, I was thinking Jung Hyung. Yeah. For well, for if, him. If yeah. he pronou or pronounces, if he performs. She is. Oh, she is. Yeah. Oh, she is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Number four, a long time, not leaving anytime soon. Cheer up by Twice. Still in the top five. Still, yeah. I'm really it's a surprised. catchy one. Oh, so catchy. Oh my gosh, can't stop listening. And I think they um they just announced their their ending promotion. So maybe it'll fall next week. We'll have to see. We'll see. Number three, BTS, BTS Fire. I knew it. it was only. A <laughs> Only a matter of time. And you got to believe it because at number two is also Save Me by BTS. They had the top two, I think, last week. Yes, so they did. who dethroned them? None other than Icon. I okay. W-Y-D. Oh yeah. Yay. I'm kind of surprised. You know, they, they, they're, they do quite well on the charts yeah. here, so I'm really surprised. So, oh, that's great. Yeah, I know. I'm I'm kind of looking through like the the rest of the top ten. It's very varied throughout iTunes top mm -hmm. ten. You know, the top forty right now. So, good stuff, people. You're making your voices heard. Yes. <laughs> so yes, we'll have to see who can hold on to it. Now. I really wonder if BTS and Twice can stay in that top five next week. Very, very interesting. I bet BTS can. Yeah. 
They aren't even promoting and they're, they're still not, there. I know. <laughs> it's effortless <Man>. for them. <laughs> Cool, 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 cool. So yes, let us know who's uh, who you guys like in the charts, and you can listen to all those songs also in our YouTube playlist. And last but not least, we got um, we're moving to our deep cut section where we talk about something fun or controversial or buzzing around the K-pop community. Uh, I got a shout out from at. Um, I don't totally know how to pronounce it per usual. No offense to anyone, but it's <laughs> N Hyung X Tran on twitter i'm just gonna say that's how they pronounce their name on twitter and they wanted us to talk about the jyp nation concert so i i love this in k-pop i wish we saw more things like this just in general but um jyp entertainment uh you know huge record label home to so many groups 2 p.m wonder girls twice got seven so many they announced that they're doing this nation concert where all their you know more or less all their acts are going to be performing and everything but they announced this really fun thing where they are going to be recording this new collaboration song with all their artists but there's a twist to it in that they put them on teams of like two or three and the people on these teams are going to be competing for lines and i don't know if it's that this person the person who wins gets the most lines or the people get no lines if they're in it I th- there, well, I don't know how the lyrics are split up, but apparently there are just thirteen spots available, oh, like solo spots on this track. So, That's probably solo. um, you know, there are thirteen competing teams. Yeah. So whoever wins on each team, I guess, will have like a like a verse. Mm. So I'm assuming like each verse is not very long, and like you know, right? Um, but yeah, but it's th- still that moment to shine. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. get more exposure for themselves it's very i mean yeah on one hand i'm a little like oh this is a little you know competitive yeah i'm almost like label mates yeah i would like feel bad if i didn't make the jyp nation (laughs) collaboration track and you're part of jyp nation you know and and what i imagine is that they'll all probably come together on the chorus or something or it'll be some big thing but it's probably is for the solo lines or something i don't think anyone's getting shoved away or anything like that but more I guess, or less, like, yeah, it's all in good fun. But yeah, it's got to be right. I can see the fans getting like testy about yeah. it. Yeah, <laughs> and I, you, do you know how they're deciding them ultimately? I, Is it voting? I actually don't know. I was gonna guess voting by fans, in which case, like. Uh, all right. Well, if you're <laughs> somebody who yeah. isn't super promoted as much, uh, good well, luck. good luck to you. <laughs> yes. But we, we thought it'd be kind of fun to go through all the pairings and then mm-hmm. choose our, you know, dream or, or who's going to get our vote or yeah. whatnot. Um, and you guys can let us know who you'd pick. We think, you know, we, we're both big JYP fans. Mm-hmm. Uh, we, we talk about, you know, this label a lot. So it's kind of cool yeah. to go through them all. So why don't we just get it's right fun. into it? So the first right. the first pairing is a uh, Baekhyun solo female artist, 2 p.m.'s Nick Hyun and Faye of Miss A. Now, who would get your vote for this um, one? Um, I'm definitely gonna go with Baekhyun. Oh, that's who I chose too. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I would love to see her get a little more shine yeah. you know, in a song like this. Love her voice. All right, number two, we got Mr. JYP himself, mm-hmm. Woo Young from 2 p.m. Yeah. and Mina from. Tw- Twice. Yep. I went with Wu Young. I went with Wu Young as well. Oh, my Tina. My gosh. Yeah, I mean, Wu Young, if that solo EP didn't prove that he (laughs) that he is like I want well, I was I wouldn't say he's underrated, but I think people like Well he's just a force. People don't realize that he's actually like very well rounded as a performer. And his his voice is one of the most soothing voices. Mm -hmm. Like when he sings anything, I'm just like, oh my God, he can sing me the phone book. Like (laughs) it's so soothing. So yep. I love that. Yeah, no, I was really um I I love him as a singer. So I he went to me he was my pick right away. Right away. All right. Number Number three. three. Sungjin of um, Day Six, mm-hmm. um, Nayoung of Twice, also right. Yep. Um, and G Soul, our yeah. solo R and B artist that we both love. <laughs> we talked about him a couple episodes back. Yes. Um, this was tough because yeah. I love Day Six, but uh-huh. nope, went with G Soul. So did I. Yay! I had oh to. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I had to. All right. You know, and I, once again, I just want to see 
you know, these solo acts who shine, you know, yeah. I think the solo acts have a tougher go for, sure. for it. I, I tend to think that way too. Like I like my soloists more. Yeah. And all right. Well, cool. the next Number one's four. tougher. Yeah. I think this one's, this one will be tough for the fans. The next few are actually kind of tough. Yeah. Um, Cause they're got, all part of groups yeah. except for maybe one. Um, we, we got got sevens, Mark mm -hmm. twice as Che Young and twice as, Chewy? Chewy. I always get tripped up on that. Me too. But I'm, yeah, we're pretty sure it's Chewy. Yeah. But who, well, who'd you go with? I really don't know. I felt like, <laughs> I feel like I always choose heavily male performers. Mm. So I just went with Chewy. Oh, you did? Okay. Yeah. yeah. I mean, honestly, she does not have a bad vocal color at all. I yeah. think she is kind of underrated in that way. I went with Mark because I'm okay. a big Mark guy. Yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I think he is quite underrated himself right. too. Um, yeah, so I'd love, to, and I, I think he's one of the more shy members of Got Seven. Mm -hmm. So you know, compared to the more louder members, I the think it's a ones, nice yeah. moment for him to. I guess I went with Chewy just because I was trying to think cohesively as a track. I don't want to choose people who sound mm. too similar. Mm. I feel like my first three were all kind of like soulful singers. Ooh, yeah, so if it's all too. like the same thing, maybe it'll be one note, but maybe not. Um, so I went with Chewy. Tina, <laughs> always with the good ideas, no. thinking way harder than I ever no. do. <laughs> over analyzing. <laughs> no, um, it's great. Number five, Hugh Young, mm -hmm. um, Bam Bam mm -hmm. of um, Got, Got seven, seven, and Junior also of Got Seven. Um, I went with Junior. You did? Yeah. Is it, I like his I like his voice a lot. Yeah, I once again found myself going to my favorites. Uh, I went with Bam Bam. Bam Bam, okay. Because yeah, once again, I just uh, yeah, I think I think you know another person who I think stands out to me as a, a singer and you know mm -hmm. uh, just a general personality overall. <laughs> true that. True that. So I'm into that. Mm -hmm. Um, all right, number six, we got Bernard Park, mm -hmm. solo singer and winner of I. K SBS K-pop star third I think season. So. Yeah, there are many seasons of that show. <laughs> um, Ta Hyung of Twice, twice yep. um, and then Ch Chong Young of Twice. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna assume you picked Ta Hyung. You would think that because I thought I. I remember you giving her a shout out, but um, I, I do. Went, I went with Chong Young. So did I. You because did. Because once it, well, okay, here's the thing. You know, if, if, they're, if you're not sensing a theme, here it is. I, I really want the underdogs to get their moment right. to shine and whatnot. True, true, true. And, you know, um, you know if, if there's a rap section, sure, Dayong can do great and it'll yeah. be really awesome. But Chong Young, I think she is a really good singer, and I think she's not getting as many lines in the Twice songs as I think – you know, right. deserves. So I think this is, could be a great moment to show more of right. her as a vocalist. Um, I think she's just like, I like her vibe and her, I think yeah. she's edgy. I, I like think her. she's got so much to show, you mm -hmm. know? And so I'm like, you know, give her the opportunity. Love it. Word. <laughs> so how many have we switched? We've only, we've only, we're only halfway through. Yeah. We've only, but we've only varied on two, two oh, matchups oh, yeah. so far. Yeah. Interesting. All right. Keep it going, Tina. Next one is, Jihyo, mm -hmm. um, of twice, of twice, lead singer. Jun K of two p.m. Mm -hmm. and Juno of two p.m. Yeah, the June brothers that's, pit against each other. Uh -oh. Anyone who listens to this or knows me knows <laughs> I'm gonna pick Jun K. I would pick him in every category if I could. <laughs> so yes, Jun K. I did too, and and I do really love his voice, and I always think he kills it. Like whether it's a chorus or, or okay, whatnot, good. If you, you didn't know? pick him, I would have just dropped I this know. mic and I, left. I know I would have been without a co-host. <laughs> Done for. All right, next. All oh, right. This one was kind of tough. For this me one was too. too. Yeah, a we got bit. Yenny um, of Wonder Girls mm -hmm. versus. Uh, Do Woon of mm -hmm. this season day six, right? Yeah, I think he's the drummer, yeah. the baby of the group, mm. and JB of uh, of of Got Seven. Oh, the cutie pie, is so <laughs> cute. I mean, I had to go with my girl Yenny yes. Yoon because I I just I mean her voice more always can yeah. soothe me. I I love her voice. Right, right. Um, she was definitely my favorite of wonder girls in addition to son who mm, departed the group yeah okay. yeah both such good singers mm -hmm. so we agree with that one yes that was a yenny okay cool number nine number nine cho kwan of 2 a.m mm -hmm. group currently on hiatus yeah. yubin of um wonder girls and young k of day six yeah who'd you go with did you go with uh, jo kwan I, I I literally have arrows going either or 
because I and my gut tells me you been because okay. I really do love her and her you know she has a very distinct voice for yeah, sure. yeah. Her, that kind of smokiness to her yeah but I love Joe Kwan too I mean he and you know it'd be nice to see a little 2 a.m. love you yeah. know representation that's there true, that's true <laughs> So it's it's between those two. I'm really you, I'm really you have p- to pick one. Oh gosh. Well who'd you choose? Um it's not an issue for me. I pick Young K. So oh, okay. It's <laughs> not then. an issue for me. All right. You know what? I'm gonna go with Yubin to give my gives give a little rapper. Give yeah, some yeah. rapping. That's in fair. There. Oh, sorry, Joe Kwan. I, love I don't you. know. It was weird that for number ten it was just between two PM's Tech Young and Got Sevens Jackson. Yeah. Well, did you read? Were you reading that? Um, they had. They said Susie from Miss A wouldn't be there. Right. Um, Bakerine, I think mm-hmm. it was how you pronounce it. From Fifteen Anne isn't going to be there. But then Sun Me from Wonder Girls is going to be there, but won't be participating in the right. song. So maybe that was supposed to be her spot. Maybe but against yeah. the two rappers. <laughs> I don't know. Right? <laughs> like okay. <laughs> um. All right. Who'd you go with? I I had to go with Tace. You know. I, love I that. went with like, Jackson. You did. Yeah. Oh. Um, it was hard because like I wanted to be loyal to my two PM <laughs> fandom, but um, right. I went with Jackson. I think I just like his voice a little bit more. Mm, okay. Um. Yeah. yeah. See. Yeah. Every it, time. Every time flies. Not 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 when it starts, but like when his verse kicks in that first verse. Mm-hmm. I'm just like damn, his voice just sounds so good. <laughs> so. Yep, went with Jackson. All right. Uh, okay, okay, All okay. All right, next one. Number 11 is Park Jimin of 15 Ann, Momo of um of Twice, mm-hmm. and then Jay of Day 6. Day six. Yep. I went with Park Jimin because I think that girl is so talented. And so I remember her solo release last year. It blew me away. Mm-hmm. I, I have to give it up to her. I picked Jay because uh-huh. I'm like obsessed with him. I yeah. think he's so talented. He's kind of like a Wu Young to me, where his voice is so soothing. Like again, sing me anything. Yeah, sing me the phone book. This... Sing me a freaking prescription. <laughs> like <laughs> a prescription. Sing me the most mundane, boring things, and you'll Take probably make it sound really good. Two of these in the morning. <laughs> If you're feeling drowsy, yeah, call and day your six doctor. is gonna be at KCON New York, right? Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh, I just remembered this. Oh, hopefully we get to do something fun with them, hopefully. Tina. <laughs> and um, We're yeah, that was at the end. Of that this. was a tough one, though. I, I it was between Jimin and and, and Jay. Yeah, you know, yeah. I, I gotta say, both super talented. Yeah, yeah. Next Number one, 12, Min. Min. Uh huh. Of um, Masse, Chansung of two p.m. Mm-hmm. and Young Jay of Got Sub. Mm-hmm. Right. Okay. Yep. 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 Um, um, I went with Min. Of course. Yeah, you love Min. But it was tough because I love Chun Sung too. I do. Yeah. And and you know what? Now that I'm looking at my 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 roster is a little is a little two p.m. heavy. <laughs> now I'm now I'm reconsidering. Nothing wrong with that. I, mean, <laughs> <laughs> I do. Yeah. I, I actually do think it would be cool for Min to have this part. Um, yeah. Or to have a part there because yeah, I, I think once again, you know, someone who needs a little more, w- deserves a little more shine, and right. I think it'd be cool. It depends on what they give. Like we're speaking hypothetically, yes, of, course, of course, but it depends on what they would give her. I think yeah. they should give her something a bit more like I don't know like she's a great singer but maybe something with a bit more like power to it yeah why not right um yeah so all right go min and then last but not least we have twice's Sana versus uh day six is one pill Mm -hmm. versus wonder girls Hylim yes or Hylim Yes, (laughs) Yes, <laughs> and or um, Lim, I guess you. Or could, yeah, Lim, she as she that, was kind an of English known name too. here. Yes, exactly. Um, who'd you go with? I went with Santa. Sans. I knew my it, girl, because um, yeah, I, I know really, you like her a lot. I do, and and I think um, I I think there's more to be seen from her vocally. Mm-hmm. I think you know she kind of well, she does have a very high voice, but I think there could be something very sweet and nice to be pulled yeah, out of this. She, she would like throw in some. I guess a different sound to it, a yeah. different different octave at least. A lighter feel, yeah, for sure. I went with Wompiel, yeah, because he has, um, he's probably <laughs> one of the, to me, one of the standout members of mm. Day Six, uh-huh. just because he has a lot of, um, he has a lot of parts in the songs, and his voice is very distinct to me. His voice is also skews a little higher. Mm. Oh. Um, I think he sounds really good. Interesting. Um, yeah, mm. I chose a lot of Day Six members. 
I know. I, I, um, I didn't even know how many 2 I think PMs. I picked like three day six <laughs> members and like Damn. three 2 p.m. members, two or three. Yeah. It's funny because I, I kind of got like flashbacks to remember when we <laughs> um, made our own groups. Yeah, that episode. right. Yeah. And that mine was, was like heavily yg <laughs> and jyp with yeah. a lot of jyp and i was thinking like if i had to form my own jyp mm. group it was it'd be very similar to the group that <laughs> i named like i picked oh, jim yeah. k right. woo young j right yenny jb oh yeah, and oh, I'm, yeah. I'm like wow that's exactly what i said that other episode, <laughs> that other episode. i'm so predictable y'all Oh man, no, I love that. That's good. You you stay on brand, Tina. I, I am know. consistent. I and will here. Say. I am ditching my Yubin for for Joe Kwan. <laughs> it is tough though when you have to when they already like you know made the categories yeah. and the poll or like the you know teams for you that you had to pick. Yeah, I'm so curious how this is all gonna work out. But yeah, and I guess like I don't know. I don't know the rules, and we neither of us can actually read Korean, so I I <laughs> so can't read the fine print if yeah. there is any. You know, I yeah. don't know how they're gonna release the results and yeah. whatnot. But I'll be looking. We'll be looking forward to it. Yeah. You know, seeing it and you know checking it out. It, it was a really fun question. So thank you. Yeah, or the, or good. To Suggestion yeah, from uh, and Young X Tran on Twitter. Thanks for shouting out the JYP Nation concert. I would love to see. You know, you remember when like SM Town came to Madison yeah. Square Garden? I'd love to see more of them. You know, more of these uh, family acts yeah. travel more. You know, or at least oh, oh at least to America. But yeah. Um, but yeah, I um yeah no fun stuff fun stuff. So That's we're cool. excited to see what happens. It was Shout fun out. to talk about something for the deep cut that wasn't like a controversy Sad. or somebody leaving the yeah group. i know we, or, or like haters and yeah. medicines and right. negativity deep cuts can be happy yeah. too if yeah. you just guys just want to hear us riff about you know the best 2 p.m album we'll do it you know yes. like we're oh here oh my gosh how come we we've never done anything like that like breaking down um in one particular artist's catalog and we ranking should. it Oh my gosh, it's almost Big Bang's 10 year anniversary. Oh, yeah, we're definitely gonna have to definitely do that. Have Except they big... have so many releases that I would know. take us a very long time. Yeah, maybe a special Big Bang episode. Yeah. Hmm, now my mind is turning, churning with ideas. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, guys, thank you as always for tuning in. As always, it's always a pleasure talking with you guys. Hit us up anywhere on fuse.tv. Vote in who your favorite release was. Um, yeah, listen to the new music of the week. Hit us up on Twitter. You guys, this stuff is shared on Fuse's Facebook page. Find us on Stitcher. Find us on YouTube. Find us on iTunes. We're looking. We're reading. Hashtag K-Stop, wherever you are. Um, and yeah, this is, um, hit me up anytime. I'm at Jeff underscore underscore Benjamin. And I'm Hey underscore Tina with three A's. Please tweet us. Yes. So as always, guys, we want to hear, want to hear from you. JYP Nation concert. Who do you guys want to win? Who do you want to hear singing? Hit us all up. As always, this has been Jeff. And this is Tina. Thank you for listening. Thanks, guys. See you Bye. soon. Bye-bye.